In the thousand-year-old peach forest, when the moon rose high, casting light streaked through the leaves, in the deep place of the forest, the power of the strongest creature arose. At the same time... Mom! Hmm? Just slow down, I told you. So how was the party with your friends? Why am I so different from my friends, Mom? I counted it carefully. No one has as many tails as me. So how did they treat you? They were so amused. But Mom, I'm asking you, why am I different? This is a long story. It's okay, I have time. All right. Peach God? Please show me the story of the one-tailed fox. This mirror will tell us the whole story. Far away from the human world, deep in the jungle was the home of the fox tribe. Their identity <gasps> and strength were determined by the number of tails at birth. Has she given birth? How many tails? Female fox, one tail. The appearance of Elysia, the one-tailed fox, was considered the most disastrous failure in the history of the fox tribe. In contrast to Elysia, her parents and two brothers were eight-tailed foxes, meaning their family was the most robust family in the tribe. Therefore, Elysia was always compared with the elite members of her family. Oh, Mom! Why is there such an ugly one-tailed fox? Why did you say every member of that family is very strong? Even I have more tails than her. <gasps> she said the truth. What a loss! <sighs> Alicia grew up in the estrangement and ridicule of the whole tribe. She was often isolated by the foxes of the same age. <laughs> <laughs> One tailed, my mother said that even your parents don't love you. Her father also thought that she was too weak and embarrassed him. He did not let Alicia participate in outside exchanges, making Alicia even more desperate and losing faith in her fellow human beings. She thought that she was not loved by her own family, and that she did not belong to this world. During a run, Alicia got lost in the town where humans live. The town was crowded. As it turned out, Prince Chad's procession was passing. The prince was extremely handsome, gentle, friendly with his citizens. Oh, look at him! I can only marry Chad in this life! In your dream, he is mine! He is mine, mine, mine! In your dream, he is mine! To the panic of the people around, Chad gently calmed the horse and got off. Without anger, he caught the creature that had just stopped his horse. It's alright, it's alright. <laughs> the moment Alicia's gaze met the prince's, the fox's small heart beat wildly. For Chad, it was only temporary tenderness for all living beings, but for Alicia, it seemed to be life's destiny. She was a fox. <laughs> Chad took Alicia to the palace to take great care of. Alicia wished if only she could meet him sooner in her life. He's so perfect. I don't know which girl is lucky to be paired with a prince in the future. Such a wonderful person. We can't even have him in our dream. Who tax his dreams? Who knows? Even a pet like it can turn into a human and may have the opportunity to become Chad's lover. Huh? Turn into...
to human and stay with Chad. <gasps> Alicia, how dare you leave the Fox Tribe? If we don't look for you, you'll never come back, will you? Father, I am lost. It is very good here. No one harms me. It's simple as you think. What do you know about humans? The prince is very good to me, even the servants. At least I am not bullied, ridiculed, or isolated here. I'm tired of that scene. <sighs> Hear what she says. A coward like her dares to argue with her father just because of humans. Alicia, we just want the best for you. Humans treat you well because they have not yet to realize that you are a fox. Humans are divided into two types, those who are afraid of foxes and those who want to steal our tails to do magic. <gasps> you don't know about the prince yet. He's not that kind of person. That's enough. Go home. <clears throat> I'm not coming back. Please leave me alone, like before. I want to be human. I want to marry Chad. Fiction. Missing the prince too much, she did not want to eat or drink anything, but cry all day. Alicia was already thin, mm. now she was even more wilted. Stop being like that! Why are you with father? Is it for love? I don't know what love is, but just seeing Chad makes me so happy. <gasps> Before, I loved to watch the peach blossoms fly in the wind when I was sad. For me, the warm days lying under the cherry blossom trees are the happiest. But now, if I could be with Chad, I would give up all my warm days. Mom, I'm scared. I'm afraid I won't be able to see him again. Then my world will be nothing. Nothing anymore. <gasps> Unable to bear that, hmm. Alicia's mother begged her father. We can keep her, but we can't keep her heart. Just like that, I'm afraid. Can we let her go? <sighs> In the end, Elysia's parents decided to turn her into a half fox for seven days. <gasps> Father! Huh. This is only a temporary appearance. Go, come to your love, prove you are right. If it is true love, the prince falls in love and marries you. We will ask the Patriarch to make you human. I got it! Do not rush to rejoice. On the contrary, if you do not have the Prince's love, I will cut off your only tail. You are not allowed to leave the Fox Tribe forever. I agree. Alicia, <laughs> regardless of who you are, we only want you to be happy. Elysia met huh? and explained mm -hmm. to the prince that she was the animal that the prince saved and raised before. I know that when I say these things, you will probably be afraid, will drive me away, but you are the first person to be so gentle with me. I really love you very much. Did you say your name is Elysia? Perhaps before I knew it, I thought of you as something special. I don't know, but now my heart beats fast. I want to follow my heart, Alicia. Are you ready to stay by my side forever? Mm. I will give up my throne and travel everywhere <laughs> to find a way for you to become a human. And if you can't become a human, then no matter what form you take, you will mm. be the one that I love the most. <laughs> the days that followed became the most beautiful period of Alicia's life so far. <laughs> The prince walked with her, watched flowers, sang, and told her many stories, drawing a picture of their family huh? in the future. At the same time, Chad hastened to prepare for the wedding that would take place on the last day when Alicia transformed into human form. He said that he wanted to invite her parents and brothers to attend. Alicia happily agreed and announced the news to her family. Accepting the invitation of Alicia and the prince, Alicia's parents came to the party at the night before the wedding. In order not to surprise people, they appeared in human form. 
The Fox <laughs> family was warmly welcomed and treated with the highest quality food and drinks, especially the wine that had been aged for hundreds of years, which was extremely precious oh and wondrous. <laughs> <laughs> After drinking that glass of wine, Alicia's parents and brothers all fainted immediately and transformed into their original forms. All the people around turned into smoke and disappeared. They were all turned out by magic. Chad laughed, changing into a cunning wizard's outfit. Because he wanted to inherit the throne, he had long studied evil magic. And the tail of the eight-tailed fox was what would make his magic stronger. In a little while, all these tails will be mine. Are you ready for the rise of the most powerful wizard of all time? <laughs> Who are you? You are not Chad. Release my family and Prince. Prince? I want more than that. The old king, my father, hesitated to give up the throne. He thinks I'm not talented enough for this position. Now look, who wants that throne? Guess what the great wizard will do to that stupid old man? No! <laughs> look what my weak wife does. I guessed it right. A fox with only one tail is definitely the most useless thing. <laughs> because you are bait to help me catch this big batch of tails, you will be the last one to cut your tail, okay? <laughs> Don't blame me, poor girl. Blame yourself for it. Love, your blind love has put your family in the situation it is in now. To me, you or your love are equally pathetic. Alicia despaired. She had realized that Chad had never loved her. His tenderness and kindness were all just a play before, and she was a tool for him to carry out his brutal malice. Alicia regretted. If she had listened to her parents and had been more vigilant, it wouldn't have led to the situation today. Chad was right. She had always been so weak. Alicia unleashed another green magic ball, a bigger one, causing Chad to miss his step and take a step back. Alicia walked towards Chad step by step, blue flames burning with each powerful step she took. First, never take advantage of someone else's love. Second, never touch a hair of the fox tribe. Third, the one-tailed fox is not useless. Never! A large crack appeared, and blue fire followed that crack and rushed straight to where Chad was standing. The whole Fox family returned to the green forest. Since then, the Fox tribe no longer had racial discrimination based on the number of tails. Alicia lived happily together, always using her strength to help the Fox tribe. It's not true! There's no point in why I'm different from my friends! I told you it was a long story. Let's go home. Mom is cheating! Dad hasn't even appeared in the story yet! If you go to school obediently tomorrow night, I will show you two more interesting stories. The thing is, Mom and Dad meet in space. Oh, a guy was being torn between two identical girls. Will he recognize which girl is his wife? Let's find out together with Woa Fairy Tales. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a village, there lived a husband and wife named David and Anna. Although their lives were poor, they always loved and cared for each other. You're home! Hmm. 
I stumbled across these two amazing stones today. I guess you'll like them. Ooh. I and you, each person, will keep one. Wow, how beautiful they are. I will keep it carefully. <laughs> <laughs> they worked hard every day with the hope that life would be less difficult to them. Suddenly, one day on his way home from work, mm -hmm. David heard a strange Ooh. noise in the bushes. With a gentle, honest nature, David immediately tried to help the little fox. <gasps> Poor little fox, do not be afraid, I will free you. <gasps> After being saved, the fox was so grateful for David's heart that she kept wrapping herself around his feet. You look so strange. You have nine tails? <laughs> It's late. I have to go home. However, David did not know that the nine-tailed fox he had just saved was a woman fox named Emily. What a gentle and kind young man. Perhaps this is the person that I'm looking for. As long as I make him fall in love with me and absorb that love, I will quickly become a human. With a plan in mind, Emily followed David to his home. <laughs> he is already married? But I cannot miss such a good opportunity. I will find a way to replace his wife. Just because of the damn curse that harming people will not be reincarnated makes me waste a lot of effort. You have worked hard today. I also have just sold a few pieces of fabric. May our family soon be rich. My wife is really excellent and capable. I will try to earn a lot of money so that you don't have to work hard. Turns out they need money. Then I have a way. <laughs> the next day, when she saw David go out of the house, Emily jumped out of the bushes, turned into a luxurious girl, and began to carry out her plan. <laughs> Excuse me, can you help me? It hurts me so much. You were seriously injured. Let me get you a bandage. Why is a rich person like you here and hurt like this? I am the daughter of a rich merchant. I lost my way here. While I was trying to find my way back, I accidentally fell and got injured. I am very grateful to have you help me. If you can bring me home, my father will surely thank you generously. Anna mm -hmm. then thought about how much money she could get. Once she had it, her family's life would certainly be more prosperous. So she immediately agreed and went with Emily. When she arrived at Emily's mansion, Anna marveled at the lavish, splendid scenery of this place. Anna entered without a doubt. But Anna did not expect that it was a trap. All Anna saw was just an illusion. Ah! Uh, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> who are you? Let me out! You don't need to know who I am. Just know that from now on, I will take your place as David's wife. <sighs> After saying that, Emily left Anna in the cave and returned to their house. <laughs> David, uh, why... Why did you go home so early today? I'm always home at this time. Huh? Well, are you tired today? Today I cut a lot of firewood. Tomorrow we can exchange quite a bit of rice. From hmm. now on, you don't need to worry about money anymore. Oh, where did you get so much gold? Well, today I helped the rich woman who lost her way. That girl repaid me with this gold. Come on, let's go inside. Hmm? Hearing his wife say that, David was a little hesitant, but then he happily followed his wife into the house. But as the days passed, David always felt that there was huh? something very unusual about his wife. She became lazy and clumsy. Oh. However, David still loved his wife dearly. <laughs> Are you feeling unwell? 
I... I really mm -hmm. feel a bit unwell. <gasps> okay, you can rest. I'll help you clean up. <laughs> Just like that, from when did Emily hmm. fall in love with David? I didn't expect David to be so kind. It seems that every day I fall in love mm -hmm. with him more and more. Mm -hmm. It's really good to be David's life. I vow to follow him for the rest of my life. The next morning, as usual, <laughs> David was about to go into the forest to cut wood, when suddenly, from a distance, he saw a familiar figure rushing toward him. When she got closer, he realized that it was his wife with a ragged appearance. Anna, why are you here? Why do you look like this? Aren't you at home just now? <laughs> Anna started telling David everything. It turned out that when she was tied up in the cave, thanks to the stone David gave her, that Anna cut the rope and crossed the road to find home. At the Ooh. same time, Emily came Ooh. out of the house. Seeing the real Ooh. Anna standing with <gasps> David, talking about the stone in her hand, hmm. she quickly used the magic to make an identical stone. David? Huh? Who is she? I'm your wife, right? Is this the stone you gave me? In this situation, David struggled to know who to trust and what he should do. Suddenly, he thought of a way to find his wife. Hmm? One of these two shirts is mine. You two show it. Who can tell is my real wife. Emily's hmm. eyes were originally latticework so she could see uh. through fabric. When she glanced at the real wife, mm. she shook her head when she saw Anna shaking mm. her head. And when she saw Anna nodding, she nodded too. Mm. Hmm. <gasps> it's hard for me because you both made the right choice. Now, let's go with me. Huh? From here to the side of the road, there will be three people passing. Please stand up and wave when you realize that's me. Hmm? I will see David before her. How can the human eye see that far? When the first two people took mm -hmm. turns passing, Emily saw the real Anna sitting still. If the first two are not, then the third person is David. Thinking that, when the third person Ooh. came, Emily hurriedly stood up and waved. David, it's you! Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. I found David before you. I am his real wife. Those three persons are not my husband. I just need to look at his figure, and I can recognize him. But, but the first two are not David, aren't they? Then the third person must be David. If not, where is he? I'm here. <gasps> David, this is my husband. Here is my real Anna. Seeing David and Anna hug each other tightly, <laughs> Emily got angry. She <gasps> used magic and swept the couple, David and Anna, away. What's, What's happening? happening? Ah! <laughs> After returning to her case, Emily cast a spell to bind huh. David and Anna. Who are you? Why have you turned into my wife? Looking at the figure of the fox in front of him, David uh. suddenly felt both strange and familiar. You look so familiar. Are you... are you the fox I saved that day? Why did you transform into Anna and bind us like this? Yes, I am the fox you saved before. I approached you with the intention of drawing sincere affection from you so that I could become human. Yet I have a crush on you. I took care of you so thoughtfully. Why did you leave me? Urgh. If it weren't for her coming back, I'd have what I want. No way. If you don't love me, I will punish her. Please forgive my wife. I didn't know you were fake Anna, so I still love her as usual. I can't love anyone but my wife. Love is something that cannot be forced. Even if you force us to part, this feeling will never change. Shut up! Ugh. I just need to use the memory eraser ball hmm. to make her forget it all. She won't love him anymore. He will love me again. When David <gasps> saw the sparkling stone, he huh? suddenly remembered that he had a similar one. <laughs> he reached into his pocket to take out a stone and cut the rope to get out. At this time, Emily was very angry trying to shoot the memory eraser ball at Anna. Fortunately, David ran out in time to save his wife, but he was hit by that magic. Emily, seeing David was injured, ran anxiously to ask about David. David, are you okay? David's memories were being erased. He no longer remembered who Emily was. Who are you? I... I am... 
Anna! Anna! Are you alright? <laughs> Emily was bewildered, but then realized that the bubble containing David's memories of her had burst, leaving only the bubble of David's memories of him and Anna. It turned out I didn't leave an impression on him at all. Hmm? All his concern for me this past few days is just my own misunderstanding. Emily turned to look at Anna and David, who were hugging each other and crying. She was heartbroken and cried. I was wrong when... I thought that as long as he was not with his wife, I would easily get his love to become a human. The sincere love between him and his wife is desirable! <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't help. I know it's hard for you to do this, but love takes time and willingness from both sides. True love cannot be forced. I almost caused great harm and harm to the honest people like you too. I'm really sorry for causing this. You guys can go now. I thank you for forgiving us, and I hope you will soon find true happiness in your life. May your wish to become a human come true. <laughs> Emily cried. Her regretful tears dripped onto the hands of the three of them, forming a magical light that went into Emily. It turned out that it was Anna and David's sincere sympathy for Emily, as well as her timely remorse, oh. that became the source of the strength to help Emily transform into a human. Oh, I'm human! Maybe it's because of your sincere affection and sympathy for me that helped me lift that curse. I think it's thanks to your timely regrets! <laughs> Thank you both for helping me. I promise to live a good life from now on. I will no longer divide people's true love for selfish reasons. I will find someone who truly loves me. <laughs> Since then, Emily happily enjoyed her human life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the kind David and Anna couple had lived happily ever after.